What's going on you guys? This is Max KDI at another HP Z230 workstation. This is the small form factor. I'm gonna be a processor upgrade, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you're gonna first you're gonna do is remove the side cover panel. And you guys will need a, either a Torx T15 screwdriver or you can use a flathead screwdriver to remove the screws here for the heat sink. There's two in the bottom and there's two in the top. So you're gonna move this wire here. This is for the four pin for the CPU power. And I'm gonna start off from the top here. So you're gonna lift off this little plastic fence shroud and, and you're gonna disconnect the, there's a CPU fan, a really short wire actually. And now you have to go ahead and get a paper towel and you're gonna wipe down the old thermal compound off the heat sink and the processor And what you need to do is uh, you need to get 70% uh, rubbing alcohol when to wipe down the old thermal compound off the heat sink. And they sell this rubbing alcohol guys in any grocery store at the pharmacy area. You can get it. If you're not sure then you can just call the store and ask them if they have it. 70% rubbing alcohol. So you're going to wipe this down. like that, that's good enough. And I'm gonna be you guys upgrading to Intel Core i5 4590. So you're gonna move the processor to do that. Just lift up straight up like this. And the way you're gonna install it the same way and see the edges here, and the one on the left, the one on the right. That's the same way you can install it. The top. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the thermal compound. But the machine guys does support uh, Intel Core i7. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, apply some right here in the middle. Or you, if you don't want to install it on the, uh, on the processor, you can do it on the heat sink the same way. It's perfectly fine. It'll be a lot easier. So you're going to take, uh, I just bent this credit card or debit card you have. I, I'm not using it anymore. So bent this and spread it evenly. Let's go the other side. That's good enough. Now you're gonna install back the heat sink. And don't forget, you have to connect back the, the CPU fan cooler. It's a four pin back to the motherboard. It's kind of short, it's really hard to connect it back. So do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and go like this. Connect the fan. Uh, make sure the screws are not loose, so they have to be tight.
and you're done. Now we're going to go ahead and get this wire back installed here like this. Install back the fence route and you're done. And you're going to put the side cover panel. So yeah guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.